Well, Kingsley Coleman has been ruled out of the Arsenal tie that's going to be played on Wednesday in Munich. Isn't that a very huge boost ahead of that game as far as Arsenal fans are really concerned though? It's a very huge blow to the side of Bayern Munich and they last played last Tuesday and the game ended 2-2 at the Stadium of Emirates. And guess what? On Wednesday, they are going to play one another and it looks like the side of Bayern Munich is going to really be missing out on another huge player. Smash like button, comment and share. If you're only watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Another big story coming in through from Barcelona. A list of players that might miss out onto the semi-final. If at all they get a yellow card again as PSG has gonna hit to be issued and Xabi Alonso has gonna hit to hit another milestone today he might be announced as the winner <coughs> of the Bundesliga 11 years of dominance he has gonna hit to break it and to celebrate that milestone a lot is gonna hit to be put up to say to it that the gentleman in the names of Alonso gets really um gets really a monument into that area of Bayern Lever Kusen. Let's see close to 200 likes or 300 likes much in this video. Don't forget to subscribe because we want to hit 21,000 subscribers and let's obviously go to that elk of really hitting the magic number of <coughs> 20,900. Uh, 20, you know, because uh, when I check inside my YouTube channel, oh, we are left with 44 subscribers to hit. 20,800 subscribers. So let's continue to obviously spread the love and do the needful. Now, we thank God for the gift of the Christians. Welcome back from the churches that are going to play this Muslims. Barak Laufikum, how the sit at days taking you guys. Now, we have a story coming in through from Bayern Munich, and we've been told by the official website of Bayern Munich that Bayern Munich <coughs> confirm Kingsley Coleman has sustained a muscle injury in his right adapter adapter and adductor it's the adductor and will be sidelined for several weeks that's what they went ahead to say <coughs> that is Bayern Munich then build sorry th this is Kerry a uh, Kerry Hale he's a Sky Sports uh, correspondent for the Bayern Munich side and all Bayern Munich correspondent for Sky Sport <coughs> told us that Kingsley Coleman was taken to hospital before the final whistle with the suspicious with the suspicion of a serious muscle injury that's what we went ahead to gate and they were playing against Cologne and Kingsley Coleman went down and it was like something they never really want to really see happen and that's how Kingsley Coleman went ahead to obviously get down and really get injured <clears throat> very much worrying and shocking for the side of us you know, if at all you know you know and you wouldn't like to see to it that a lot of things really don't go <clears throat> their way when you're really going in for battle with a team of arsenal you need one of your best um left forwards in the past seasons that we're gonna hate to have to be available i tell you he has been one of the best forwards i've gonna hate to do i've gonna hate to see do his thing at Bayern munich he won the champions league and he knows exactly what this stage really means so it's really a very huge blow for the side of Bayern munich and um they are really seeing these players obviously shrink in number and that really doesn't want to be the best um, squad that he would obviously want to have when you're facing Arsenal. Then Kingsley Coleman is expected to be out for five to six weeks, which would mean his season is over. <clears throat> that is build. So his season is totally over. Five to six weeks. That means today is 14th um 16 days to the end of this month right those are two weeks to add on more two weeks you are into um may so that means he'll need the remaining two weeks of he'll need the remaining two weeks of feb of april and the entire four weeks <coughs> of may meaning that the season will be over and he cannot really catch it because you need a very huge rehabilitation to obviously get it to play and this season injuries have gone ahead to obviously be one of those that have gone ahead to affect his career a lot and for Brizio Roman later told us that Kings Coleman is expected to be sidelined for the rest of the season but should be back in time to be part of the French squad for the Euros obviously for the Euros he might make it to the Euros because the Euros start let me see when do the Euros start I think it's June right 
euros. Euros 2024 fixtures. Let's see the matches and see when they start. <clears throat> 14th June. They are starting on 14th June. And I think we'll be <clears throat> would have gone ahead to get a very good rehabilitation. And you can even get time to play into some of the friendlies of France. But <clears throat> for the game of Arsenal, Thomas Toko is really gonna miss him, and that means <clears throat> the wide forwards that he's really having are really limited Leroy Sen who is really doubtful uh Sergi Nabri who is also one of those that is really out by the way even Sergi Nabri is out let me see Sergi Nabri is also out you know he got injured in the game of Arsenal so Sergi Nabri yesterday <coughs> let me check their squad whether Sergi Nabri was there um Sergi Nabri was one of those players that never went ahead to feature into the game of football that um, they went ahead to play yesterday. I think. Let me see the lineups. Let me see the lineups. Let me see the lineups. <clears throat> so they had Coleman, they had Tell. The bench had Upper Makano, Le uh, Leon Gretzka, Alfonso Davis, Conrad Leima, <clears throat> Jamal Musia, like him in Jay. So he was out. He was out. And that is really a very huge blow. That means you are only having. Aliroy Sen, who is really half fit and he cannot really play 90 minutes and all play 120 minutes. You get? He cannot play 120 minutes, meaning that they are going to be having a shot into the forward options because they are now left with. <coughs> um, who are they left with? Leroy Sen. <laughs> the rest are not really good because their best two players they've gonna hit to be having have been Leroy Sen and Sergi Nabri, but they're out, meaning that they're gonna miss out on pace. And the manager might be forced to obviously play Jamal Musiala out of position and play him as a left forward and bring in <coughs> Thomas Muller to play into the central attacking midfield role. That is really bad for the side of Bayern Munich. And for player for player like Coleman, who went ahead obviously coming through and would have gone ahead obviously put you ahead because <coughs> his effort at Emirates was denied by the lower post. You wouldn't like to miss him out in such a game of a huge magnitude. If you know, you know what this boy is all about. He's a very big player because in the Champions League, they last won in 2019-2020. He was the man responsible for obviously scoring that beautiful goal that saw him really lift the Champions League against PSG. Now, he's out and there is a very huge shortage in the side of Bayern Munich when it comes to those wide forwards and he has to cook out something special to see to it that he really rectifies that as soon as possible but we wait and see how that pans out but wait to see how Leroy Sen is going to really push on and that is good for the side of Arsenal and we wait to see how the manager is really going to push on with that now we go to Barcelona they've gone ahead to obviously put out a list of players if they receive a yellow card versus PSG they'll miss out on a potential USL semi-final Frankie de Jong, <coughs> Ferran Torres, Yao Felix, Arojo, Lamine, Lamine Yamal if you are Barcelona <coughs> all you have to pray for is to first go through to the fine to the semi-final <coughs> because crossing the bridge before you reach it is not good Barcelona is going to hit to turn off their season because even yesterday they won by one goal to nil. And I tell you what, the most important bit of them is to go to the semi-finals <coughs> because that will enable them solve their problems that they're having with the financial fair play. But the more they continue to obviously put up themselves in a position of like, we are really a team that's supposed to be playing in the final, it won't really give them the better results they want. <coughs> All they have to do is simple. They only have to come out kill this game off of PSG on Tuesday, you know, and see themselves really gate to where they deserve to be. I understand how important these players are in their system. Frank De Jong, uh, Yao Felix, uh, Ferran Torres, Arojo, and um, Yamal. But all you have to first do is simple. Get through to the next round and then think of whether they have a yellow card or not. Because if you put that in their mind, they won't come out to put their, out their best. Because they'll be like, 
I shouldn't be taking this tackle because I will miss out onto the first leg of the semi-final. And this is not a Champions League final, mind you. It's a semi-final, meaning that they might miss out on the first leg. And the second leg, they might obviously show up. And that will be a very huge boost in the second leg to obviously get in <clears throat> five, four players in your team. So, if I'm Javi, I tell the players, go out, give us your best. If you get a yellow card, nothing to mind about. We'll try to obviously figure it out because... That's what you have to do to go to the next stage. The most important hit is Arsenal going to the next stage. That is the most important bit of it all. Arsenal going to the next stage. And them going to the next stage is really the best option. That Sorry, I'm talking about Barcelona going to the next stage. And that is the most possible way. Now... Let's go a little bit to buy. Let's go a little bit to Germany and see what Germany is really having for us today. It's Bayern Leverkusen. <clears throat> They've gone ahead to obviously decide that Bayern Leverkusen have renamed the road leading to their stadium after Xabi Alonso ahead of their poten ahead of potentially securing Bundesliga title this evening. Now, Leverkusen, Leverkusen is really doing magic down in germany for 11 years Borussia dortmund has gone ahead obviously failed to dethrone Borussia dortmund on several occasions on the last days like last season dortmund went ahead to down tools and guess what happened they lost the title to bayern munich because they failed to win their game of football yet they are the ones responsible for obviously taking a lead now this time round they are 16 points ahead of they are 16 points ahead of bayern munich and you know their team their league has 18 teams right they're having 18 teams that means they play 34 games meaning that 34 games played after 29 games there will be five games left and those will be 15 points and today all they need is a draw because they are 13 points all they need is a win when they win tonight against Wada Bremen, they'll be cloned or they'll be crowned champions of the Bundesliga. And that's why they've gone ahead to appreciate the manager for the work well done. And if at all you are someone outside there and reading this story, it shows you how things are really possible. Jabi Alonso. <clears throat> Jabi Alonso. He has gone ahead to obviously turn around the team of Ban Leverkusen from a side that couldn't compete. To a side that has gone ahead obviously coming through and compete in the Bundesliga. And his squad is really intact. To show you to it that he's so much focused on the project at Bayern Leverkusen to break the dominancy of Bayern Munich. He denied coming to Liverpool. He denied going to Barcelona. He denied going to Real Madrid. And he was like, I'm here. He went ahead to confirm. And that's why Liverpool went ahead to go in for Ruben Amrion, who is a manager for Sporting Lisbon. So for me, congratulations to uh, Alonso. And he knows to it that if he wins today, he will have a lot of time to obviously go ahead and play in London. And he needs to win this game early. In the midweek, they went ahead to beat uh, West Ham, the low block side of West Ham by two goals to nil and he feels like he should be doing better and better and better and better onto games like those so for me i'm just excited about what this man has gonna hit to achieve and how he has gonna hit to resort to ban leverkusen business to stay here and really be there and if i told him, him i have to be there for the next two seasons right he has to be there for the next two seasons you know playing the champions league compete and see where they can come out and really defend that Bundesliga and really also come in the Champions League and show us exactly what he's all about. So, your thoughts on to Kingsley Coleman out of Arsenal tie are welcome in the comment section below. What do you make about uh, Alonso getting a monumental from Bayern, from Bayern Leverkusen? The road leading to their stadium has gone ahead to be named after his name. And lastly, four to five players of Barcelona are really in, are really, uh, are really semi-final prone because if at all they really miss out if at all they get a yellow card against psg they are gonna miss out on the game so what do you think javi should do should he start them or not and what advice should he give them may the living to god bless you abundantly first video of the day more is yet to come rock and david is my name this is the rockani media football and this is the football news show we out